humans, it is Hannah here, and um, actually I decided that I want to start sleep training my child. She is almost nine months old, and she has literally probably never taken a nap without me. Eh, maybe a few times, but it's not been very often, and that's something that I really want to get more independence in, is just getting more time away from her. Not that I don't love her, not that I don't want to hold her all day long, but I do definitely need to get some form of independence and be able to get more things done throughout the day and just a little bit more sanity. So I thought I'd take you on my journey of sleep training my child. Quite honestly, we do a lot of holding to sleep because for me, that's typically faster than taking the time to just like try to get her to go down by herself. Um, and today is actually going over pretty well. It took me like 15 or 20 minutes to get her to go down. I had nursed her before, I changed her diaper before, and I did what I think is called like the pick up put down method where I would pick her up whenever she needed comfort and I'd put her back down and I'd pick her up and I'd put her back down. And I probably did that like a good 15 or 20 times. And I did notice that it kind of started to wear her out, which I liked because then she ended up just like laying down and falling asleep. And now she's just like, laying in the pack and play by herself, which she's never ever done before. Usually if I can get her to go to sleep and I go to put her down, immediately she wakes up. So I'm actually gonna go check on her. It's been like five minutes since I've been in there. So I'm gonna go see how she's doing. So far so good. So Felicity actually ended up taking about a 30 minute nap in the pack and play. And then she took about another 10 minute nap on me, we nursed a little bit and she continued sleeping for about 10 minutes. So in total, she got about 30, 40, I guess 40 minutes of sleep, which is not a horrible nap. And I feel like that's pretty good for her first nap of sleep training. Usually she would sleep for about an hour and a half, but that's okay. It's her first day. Felicity usually takes two naps in a day, but if her second nap in the day isn't very good, she usually will take a nap around 6.30, just like a short, sweet little nap maybe about 30 minutes. So I'm kind of expecting her to take a nap around 6.30 today because she only took a 40 minute nap for her second afternoon nap. How do you like your nap in the crib? Did you like it? Good morning guys. It is day two of us sleep training and it is about 9.20 uh, right now. And so we're going to try putting her down for her morning nap. Again, doing the pick up, put down method and gently sleep training Felicity. So, shall we try to go get a nappy? Also, if we could just like ignore my baby hairs, that would be great. Thanks. So I was able to get Felicity down in like, I think under 10 minutes. Seriously, it was so fast and so easy. Um, I think she's starting to get a little bit used to the idea of sleep training and everything. I'm actually really excited about that, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna try to get some things done and not just sit there and watch her. I feel like that's been my hardest issue too. It's like, all I wanna do is sit there and watch Felicity. I have no desire to do anything else. I want to make sure that she knows that I'm there and it's okay. So it's also a transition for me as well. I really want to edit some videos because I have two videos that are almost done and I have time to edit them right now and I think that's what I'm going to work on. All right.
but Felicity just slept for an hour and 10 minutes, which is so close to the hour and a half. She's usually sleeping. I was able to get most of my video edited and then she woke up. So I'm really excited. Yes, I know. You feel so refreshed, don't you? Good morning, guys. It is day four of us going to try to sleep train. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed right now because I have a lot of things to get done in a very short amount of time and I'm thinking I'm just going to have to accept the fact that I'm not going to get them all done. I got Felicity down for a nap. So she is down and now I can get some things done, which is nice. I'm hoping that I can get them all done before she wakes up and that she doesn't sleep for like 20 or 30 minutes because I need longer than that. <sighs> She slept for an hour. I was able to get a lot of things that, well, the most important things done that I needed to get done today, the things that were no ifs, ands, or buts about it, like the things that I had to get done, regardless, they got done. So I'm really excited about that. So thank you for sleeping so well. <laughs> Definitely do feel like this has been a harder transition on me than it has been on Felicity. And I think a little bit of it is like, I don't know if it's jealousy or what. What is it? But like, I'm like, why are you not more upset that you're not sleeping with me? Like, I'm so grateful that she's taking to the pack and play so well. But at the same time, I'm like, it's been nine, almost nine months of you sleeping on me most every single day. Like, why are you not more upset? Like, don't you miss mommy? Okay, so I got Felicity down for her second nap of the day. This is the first time we've ever done two naps in one day. I also set up the lollipop monitor. So like I have it on my phone now and I can see her. She's okay, she's sleeping. I don't know why I didn't set up this monitor beforehand. So uh, 10 out of 10 do recommend having a monitor, whether it be on your phone or some people have like this separate monitor. Do recommend that because I have so much more peace of mind knowing that she's asleep and that she's not like not breathing or something. Good morning guys. We are on day seven of sleep training. I actually didn't take any footage this weekend. Um, today's Monday and so Saturday, Sunday I filmed nothing because I think Noah being home really affected Felicity's sleep. So she literally, I couldn't get her down for a nap at all. And so I wasn't able to get her down for a nap at all. Like literally not once and then Sunday we went to church and really she got maybe an hour total of sleep all throughout the day and I tried to get her to take a longer nap and I just I couldn't I don't know it just it didn't happen right now she's currently napping and it took me like five minutes to get her down now she's back sleeping like normal I don't know I don't get it it's my child I guess so <laughs> I love having this baby monitor. I could sit here and watch this like all day long. She slept for an hour. Hey guys, so it's been about a week since I last updated you guys. And the main reason for that is just the simple fact that Felicity has been doing kind of the exact same thing. She's sleeping about an hour to an hour and a half every day for two naps. And then after that, she's either awake until bedtime or sometimes she'll take like a 30 minute nap on me and the carrier. Um, but she hasn't really been doing that the last couple of days. She's just been awake until about eight o'clock and then she kind of conks out. So honestly, I don't really feel like I have much more of an update to give you other than the fact that that's what Felicity has been doing. This has actually been going over way better than I thought it would. The only thing that I'm still having to work on is her falling asleep in the crib while Noah is home. Saturday and Sunday of last week and then this past week because today's Tuesday? Monday. Tuesday. Oh, it's my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, dad. <laughs> it's gonna come late, but you'll at least see it. <laughs> but the last two Saturdays and Sundays, she just refuses to lay down in the crib. And so I'm thinking that that's gonna be my next step, is getting her to take a nap in the crib with Noah being home. Thank you so much for following along with me on the journey of me gently sleep training my baby. 
Whenever we do start sleep training her at night, I will also take you on that journey. But as for now, I feel like her co-sleeping with us right now is totally fine and we've been doing it very safely and that is just working for us right now. So when we do start to sleep train at night, I will bring you along on that journey. But as for now, we have naps down to a T and I'm hoping that eventually in the future she will nap while Noah is home, especially because I think he might be starting to work from home soon, but we'll see how that goes. So thank you so much for following along in this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos. Bye guys. Bubby, you don't need to see inside of your mouth. You don't need to eat it. No, no, no. Think of me. I don't remember, did I touch on this already? <laughs> <laughs> She is a crazy crack addict that likes to be on me all the time. Ow, 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 ow.